Hey what's up guys, back again with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to install a Minecraft Spigot server for Minecraft 1.13. And uh, yeah, so you can use the server for, you know, just playing around, playing with your friends or whatever you want to do, or you can actually develop on the server, which is a series I have on my channel, so make sure you check that out, where I show you how to de uh, develop, you know, Spigot plugins, okay? So anyway, to actually make a server, it's actually pretty simple, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is make a folder somewhere, and just name it whatever you want. I'm gonna just call mine spigot server number two because I already have one. There we go. And then you can open up that folder that you just made. And then what you want to do here is go to this website. I'll put the link in the description for you. And um, you're gonna go here and you're gonna find the latest version of spigot. So in this case, it'll be 13, uh, 1.13.2. So I'm gonna download that one. Click this. Boom, it's downloading. And so once that's done downloading, you wanna drag it into that folder, okay? So let's give that a second. Okay, click keep, by the way, just in case that pops up. It's just basically a little firewall that Google has whenever you're downloading stuff. All right, guys, so it's done downloading. I had some problems because it wouldn't download all the way, but that's fine. I got it working now. So what you want to do now is, of course, click it, hold it. Don't, uh, you know, open it. Just hold it, click it, and then drag and drop it over into the folder that you just made, okay? And as soon as it's in here, you want to right-click it and then click rename, and then you want to rename it to something simple like spigot, okay? So we don't get this long name that it gave us, okay? So anyway, now what you want to do is uh, open up new and then go to text document. And then you want to create just a random text document. It does not matter what you name it at this point. And then just open it. Okay, and inside of here, you're going to copy this piece of thing that I have, this piece of text. And uh, so I'll leave that in the description for you also. So now that you have this in here, um, you copy and paste that in there. Um, what you want to do here is change the amounts of RAM that you want to use for this server, okay? And hopefully you know what RAM is, but if you don't know what RAM is, it's basically how much memory your computer is using to run the server, okay? Because think about it this way, every program on your computer takes up a certain amount of power, okay? And so this server, you can specify how much power or memory this ser um, you know, this server is going to take up, okay? So make sure you don't do some like crazy number like, like you know, uh, 500 or something like that. Make sure it's reasonable, like maybe 4. Uh, it actually depends on what computer you have because um, every computer has a different amount of RAM. So if you're just starting off, I'd rec maybe recommend two, and then I would look into what RAM, how much RAM your computer has. So let me show you. I can look up how much RAM my computer has. So if we go to system, uh, and I could see here I have 24 gigabytes of installed RAM. Okay, that's a lot for this computer. It's a custom computer, so you probably won't have that much, but um. If you had, for example, eight gigabytes of RAM, I would recommend maybe, f maybe you know, three or four or something like that. I don't know. It just depends on how much um, stuff your computer is using up. Okay, but just the point is, don't you know, put an unreasonable amount of uh, RAM. Okay. So since I have 24 gigabytes, I could do something like maybe eight if I want to. That's like pretty much where I want to stop though, because I have other pro uh, programs running on my computer. But anyway, so I'm just gonna put four. You know, because why not? And then what you want to do after you specify how much RAM you have by ch changing those two numbers, you want to go to File, Save As, okay? And so you want to save this file as, call it run.bat. It doesn't have to be called run, but at least have the extension bat, dot bat, okay? That's a batch file, okay? It's a special kind of file. So anyway, click Save, and then um, you can close this if you want to. And then you can delete the old, uh, old file right there. And so now you're good to go, okay? So what you can do is double click this, and now it's gonna run your server. So give it a second. So it says, error, this build is outdated. Please download a new build as per instructions. Um, that's a weird little error I get sometimes because um, I don't know why it is actually because, you know, I'm downloading the latest, latest version of Spigot, but I guess it's not the latest version because we're getting it from a special website. Normally, you would want to download it from the build tools uh, thingy, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's still going to work perfectly fine. So, yeah, it's just going to take 20 seconds, I guess, to start up because it's just giving us that warning. So as you can see here, it's starting to load everything in. And then now it says, fail to load e, uh, eula.txt. You need to agree to the eula in order to run the server. Go to eula.txt for more info, okay? So just click anything or close that. And then you want to go to this file here, the eula.txt, and then edit it. And then you're going to open this up. And so what you want to do here is change this false to true, okay? This is just you basically accepting the terms and agreements of having a, a Minecraft server, okay? Pretty simple. So now you can run this, and now it'll, um, you know, wait 20 seconds, of course. And uh, yeah, so it's going to start up, hopefully, without any problems this time. And while that's going on, why don't we just open Minecraft, you know, so we can test the server out. So make sure you do that. Okay, as you can see here, um, everything's starting up. It's loading everything. Um, 
it's gonna start building the spawn area or the world for you basically and so yep that's gonna work and it's almost done and it looks like it might be done almost and so if you want to connect to it we can just go to localhost like that and then join server so that will take you to your local host or basically what that means is going to take you to the server that's running on your your network okay so your own server so as you can see we're here sorry if it's a little laggy uh, so yeah we're here in the Minecraft server this is your server you can uh, do help and stuff like that because you have spigot and um, yeah anyway so yep that's your server it's all running up and everything so um, just before we end this video I want to show you Let's say you want to change some settings of your server. We can go to server.properties and edit with Notepad++ if you have that. Or you can just open it with a regular Notepad. It doesn't really matter. And so anyway, you can change some um, of the settings here with your server. Okay, so let's say we want to, um, let's see here. We want to change PVP to be false for some reason. Okay, we can just change this to false. So now we do Control S to save it. And then we could go back to our, um, you know, console here. And then we close the server. And then we gotta reopen it because we changed some settings, okay? So that will do that. And so you start it up like normal, okay? So that will change that for you if you want to change settings. And then you also have a plugins folder here. So if you want to install plugins, you just drag and drop them into here and then restart your server like we just did, okay? And yeah, so that's how you make a Minecraft server. That's how you install plugins, you know, change some settings. So if you have any questions about what we did, you could of course ask a question in the comment section or we have a Discord in the description also. You can join that, hang out with this, you know, whatever you want to do, ask questions. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.